And we are live. Uh, welcome. welcome no, I'm the, good. Uh, yeah. yeah, welcome. Welcome to the uh, video game we Olympics uh, game announcement uh, uh, stream. I'm here. I'm, a, I'm Goose uh, here with, uh, we got Owl and Chicken. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Welcome. Yep. Welcome, man. Are you guys excited to hear about these games? Yes. I'm very big. Uh, okay. Wow. I, I'm really, really glad to hear the fellow competitors are uh, <laughs> really excited about these games. Yeah. This is. Yeah. We're live on. What the? What the hell is your question, Michael or Al? Oh, I thought this was just us talking separately. Oh. <laughs> no, this is live. I see now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're live. Nobody oh, knows we're voice. live. Okay. People aren't excited. Uh, you got to get used to being on the Twitch, Al, to compete in the video game Olympics. Uh, so we've uh, selected 10 games via a very democratic voting, rank order voting process. Um, each uh, each competitor voted on these games and uh, from five distinct categories. How'd the, uh, how'd the voting go for both of you? A lot of games. A lot of games I didn't recognize. Um, I'd say the first two categories that took the time, put the time in to really figure out what the games were so mm -hmm. I could make informed decisions. And at that point, I was just like, this is a lot of work. That's too much time. And just started guessing. Chicken, how about um, you? I'm having audio problems. Okay, he's having, he's <laughs> having audio issues. We're just going to go through with the broadcast here. So just to... Yeah. To explain, what are the what were the first two categories I was talking about? Okay, well now I gotta go look at them. Okay, so we broke down every video game I own into five distinct categories. Um, so one of them is the arcade party category. Um, you know, it encompasses a bunch of different arcade style games, party style games, uh, things of that nature. Uh, we have the sim category. Uh, which, whoa, wait, wait, wait! Can we get a recap there? I just gotta, I gotta make sure here. So wait, so the Jesus. party and arcade games have party games and arcade games in them. Is that is that what you specified? It makes and a lot it, of sense. Okay. What what more do you want to know? Like, what more do you want to know? <laughs> I just enjoyed that explanation. You know, I'm I mean, glad that we two uh, D we fighters, had that that level of breakdown. Three D fighters, things of that nature. None of this really matters for the viewers because they're never gonna. It, it just doesn't matter. They just see the games. But okay, we'll go through them now. The Sims. What do you think that sounds like? A lot of simulation games, racing Sims, sports Sims, mm, fair, uh, RPGs, yeah. basic stuff. If you're uh, if you can read. Uh, then we have an X Games category, um, a lot of uh, crazy arcade racing games in there, and then of course extreme sports video games. Again, these are very self-explanatory. Uh, we have shooters, which are like shmups, uh, first-person shooters, third-person shooters, uh, light gun shooters, things of that nature. Michael, you got any questions about what shooters are? No, I just I I. Uh... See that you're not explaining these ones now. Yeah. What What would you need to know? The and there's a category called the rest where I couldn't come up with a creative name for the rest of every other type of game that exists in the universe. So it goes into that catch-all category. Is there anything else you need to know? I'm spectacular. Okay, are we ready to move on to the games? Sure, go for it. Okay. So the uh, first game, uh, this is coming from the uh, uh, the arcade, uh, the X Games category. Uh, it's an arcade racer, and that is a Revolt on the Sega Dreamcast. Okay, no, yeah. no reaction there. Uh, no so reaction. Our, our format will be four-player uh, split-screen racing. Surprisingly, this game has not... Uh, not been played in the video game Olympics. And then we have the player history in the genre. So oh, I have a, have a breakdown of all the points scored. Uh, Chicken is really dominating this category with 62 points in arcade racing games. Hell yeah. I'm second with 36. Michael with a nice little 29 points here. And then uh, Pigeon, who is not Pigeon, on the broadcast. Not on the broadcast. 
is doing terrible. It's I can also terrible. hear my voice. I can also so. hear my voice. So. <laughs> Standard. So is this in an order? Sorry, I should have asked this to begin with. Uh, this is not in an order. This is in an order of how I kind of okay. just randomly put all this together and got these uh, animated GIFs of the game's opening screens gotcha. on the side here. Um, keys to victory, I, I would say mastering the handling. Uh, of the game. This is a very tough game to drive the cars and get them around the course. And then like all cart style racers, I mean, weapon usage is going to be a good way to make your comebacks. Uh, but I don't know if there's any thoughts. I don't know who, uh, how you guys voted on this game or how you felt about this one. I didn't, I did not look this one up. So I did not know specifics. This well, was after the point of me caring or paying yeah. it too close attention. Well, uh, always Al, interesting to see the which weapons there are, you know, that, that can I can uh, have an can interesting effect on it. Break that down. This is uh, one of Pigeon and I's favorite games uh, back in the day. So oh. you got rockets, um, oil slicks. I think there's a bowling ball at some point that comes out. Hmm. Um, uh, some sort of boost as well. But again, this is car selection will be big and it's very hard to drive these cars in this game. Mm. Chicken, any thoughts? Are you still with us? I don't know if he's still alive. Yeah, we'll, I still uh, have an audio issues. We'll, uh, we'll wait for him here. Uh, Michael, how do you feel? Or uh, Owl, sorry. I don't know who Michael is. Uh, how do you feel about this particular genre of game? You know, I I tend to enjoy it. Um, I feel like I don't get the handling down as quickly as some of you, so that's where my that's why I think that I hold my own sometimes, but it just takes me a race or two after you guys, and that's why I can never finish early, you know, finish yeah. first, but uh well, you're I gonna have sometimes to pull out like a second place, second you're or gonna, third place. You're gonna have to get it going early here. Uh, yeah, I know. As, uh, it's uh, it's one race and it's all of us on track, which, you know, really, I think kind of mixes things up. You know, you have mm -hmm. you have a lot of opportunities to make mistakes. And uh, and that's yeah. Yeah. That's what makes the four person split screen real interesting, you know? Absolutely. I mean, and you a lot of, one mistake a lot of, and you could be out a lot of pressure on the competitors. Well, it's you and me mm -hmm. uh, Al here. So we're just going to keep moving on, I guess. Uh, sure. Because apparently we can't uh, can't handle audio here. Second game uh, in the first person shooter genre, Time Splitters Two. Uh, it's a familiar interesting. game. Uh, familiar game in the con yes. uh, competition. Uh, it is very interesting. Uh, but there is another game coming from the shooter genre, so it might be something else that somebody wants to see here. Uh, the format is going to be four player split screen. Uh, past competitions, it was the uh, 2013 uh, team game to end the championship, uh, won by Pigeon and Goose versus Owl and Chicken, in a in a just a fantastic match that sadly is lost to the sands of time because we could not had any capability of recording said match. <laughs> uh, player history and genre again, uh, we have Goose uh, myself on top with 33 points, Chicken. Second with 27, 15 for you, Al, and Pigeon with 10 in the uh, uh, FPS genre. Keys to victory. Very, uh, securing, very common breakdown. Yeah. Keys to victory, securing the most powerful weapon, like many FPS game, is always a, always a big deal. Mm -hmm. And, of course, aggression. I think you need, I think you need to be uh, as aggressive as possible. Uh, Chicken will be back on the call in a minute. But, Michael, what do you think about FPSs in general and Time Splitters since you've played it? In general, I'm a fan of FPSs. You know, each one's a little bit different, especially which platform is this one for? Uh, this is on the PlayStation 2. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, I remember some of those Dreamcast ones had some funky controls. Which yeah, so made things interesting. Yeah, obviously, um, I don't remember which one that is, but yeah, it didn't make it. It did not get elected. Um, the Dreamcast yeah. has a, doesn't have a second analog stick, which causes some issues. I think um, 
Mm-hmm. What do you, what style of FPS do you like? Or do you like the fast pace? Um, well, see, I have another nickname called, which is Squatter. Mm-hmm. And uh, so my typical gameplay is actually the exact opposite of fast. Um, I typically like to camp out or squat, if you will. Um, typically with like a sniper rifle or something you can really take your time with and, yeah. um, you know, snipe them out, get those good shots in, feels great. Um, so that's my typical kind of gameplay. Um, so this, you know, fast pace, you got to switch it up and do a different kind of gameplay. You got to adjust, which is what the Olympics is all about, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No, this is definitely a very, very fast, uh, video game. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, I think it'll be it'll be interesting. I I think Pigeon will have a hard time with that as well. And uh, uh, like I said, in the keys to victory, securing powerful weapons, you you are always going to start with a um, with a weapon that you just don't want to have in time splitters. Okay, I apologize for all of the issues. They're okay. fixed. <laughs> Chicken is back. We're just Sound a lot better there. Yeah. We nice. are just uh, discussing our second game here. Uh, time splitters okay. two. I know this is one you're familiar oh, yeah. with. Uh, what do you think about I, this being in the Olympics again? Um, well, was this the one that uh, you were surprised or that you voted on, not because you knew I would vote on it? Uh, no, that is another game. Okay, well, this still counts as that for me, kind of, because yeah. uh, we we both like it. Um, I mean, I used to play it a lot on the GameCube as a, as a kid. I don't remember anything really fond about it. Like, I, I wouldn't say I loved it, uh, but it was all right. I don't know. That's about all I got. Yeah, this is one all of right. my this is one of my favorite shooters. I um, huh. I've said before that I if it was in uh, a certain person's PlayStation 2, we'd play this instead of Bond if it was in there yeah. on accident. Um, uh-huh. But I, I like this game and I think it'll definitely lead to uh, some controversy and some close oh, tight well. action. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this was not the not the one I expected, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so we're going to move to our third game, also on the PlayStation 2. Okay. And that is ATV uh, Off-Road Fury 3. Uh, wow. Very interesting mm. that this, this one. Interesting. Now, this is definitely <laughs> a wheelhouse game for me. Uh, genre is sim racing, ah. and so people don't complain. Uh, sim racing, there's, you know, there's a lot of games that are simcade type games. Uh, we're going to yeah. count those as sims. Uh, Two-player split screen, so it's going to be head-to-head action. Uh, we have not played the ATV Off-Road Fury franchise in the Olympics. Uh, we've played MX versus ATV, which is really? virtually virtually the same thing. Oh, but um, yeah. And this is a relatively new game for us. Player history. Now, see, I rated this. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'll go. go I'll go. go I'll finish this. I off was going to say I, I rated this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, player history and genre. <laughs> Chicken, you're on top with the 47. I have 40 <laughs> points, so it's tightly contested in the Simcade type category. Uh, Al uh, and Pigeon are just uh, kind of pecking it out at the bottom there. And Keys to Victory, I think it's a mm-hmm. very rhythm-based game. you got to find your rhythm on the tracks. Yeah, right. Um, I was going to say I was a big fan of ATV, Off-Road Fury. Uh, I don't know if I had two, or uh, did they make a fourth one? There is a fourth one. I, I played one of those, but uh, I, I like the, I love the game's format. It's not my best racer uh, in terms of racing sim. Uh, you'll probably win at this one, um, mm-hmm. but you never know. It, you make one mistake, you fall off the track, you're done. Yeah. yeah it's over. Michael. Interesting honey. that this one came up. I remember uh, voting on this quite low because I figured, uh, or at least I thought I did. Yeah. Because I knew take, that you had. Uh, let me take a look at the stats here on this. Had some skill in this genre yeah i was very shocked I probably through the third this one popped in there was a first a second a fourth and somebody voted at ninth i could see that being me that was yeah. a like that might be you yeah dave well dave has um sorry pigeon has played off-road fury 2 we played that as a kid so he probably feels like he has uh, some confidence there um yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah but it's a nice game we will see Everything is random as far as the brackets go, and then we'll see what types of tracks we're on. That will all be randomly selected, which will make a big difference. Um, mm-hmm. If it's like mm-hmm. Supercross, yeah. it becomes a Supercross track, I should win pretty easily, but something else like Enduro or something could be a little bit more even. Uh, expect swearing, and obviously the bracket matchup yeah. is very key here. 
Um, right. Okay. Yeah. Moving on to game four. You said those brackets are going to be predetermined. Uh, yeah, I make them up randomly ahead of time. Nice. Uh, okay, mm-hmm. so we are into the interesting action genre. <laughs> uh, yep. The Simpsons huh. hit and run. This is a child. You know, I voted for this. You, myself. you know, I voted yep. for this. <laughs> yeah, Chicken voted for this, and I, of course, voted for this. Uh, Olympic format, yep. speed run of a level. So it has a multiplayer that is horrible. We're not going to play that. We will speed run a level uh, that can be mm. it can be played. Uh, past competitions, none. History and genre. So the action genre is one that I've had a hard time defining. So these haven't really popped up a lot. So you could see the three, two, one there, but there's nothing to be learned or gained from those stats. Keys to victory. Uh, we obviously we do practice rounds. So learning that map is going to be huge, and to go with that, mm-hmm. finding shortcuts. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, because, uh, hit and run, well, it depends what we're going to, how do you speed run the level? I don't remember like a mission. You have speed mission. Run a mission. Yeah. You have missions. We may do one mission or like a couple. Um, I don't know. Uh-huh. I gotta, I gotta look at it, but either way, I think it'll be one map. It'll be one map we're on at least. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's Somewhere. not, it's not an easy competitive game, but there should be some fun stuff there. Yeah, wish I knew I you guess. guys knew this game. Imagine. Shoot, I figured yeah. this was just a random pickup. Shoot, no, I mean, I don't think it, I, no. I didn't vote have... this slow enough. No, this this game killed it. Two first place votes, one second place, and a fifth, which is, I believe, the highest score of any any of the games that oh, wow. know, were selected. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, we'll figure out what the format is, but the key is really to navigate these levels as quickly as possible. I mean, you just got to find your way around. Yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, it'll be a it'll be a fun game. Childhood favorite, Michael. Any other thoughts? What do you think yeah. about this type of genre? Open world, mission based type games. Um, see, the reason I, I would saying... even um like play this is because uh I I wanted to have like Grand Theft Auto. As a kid, and I couldn't. Uh, this was the next oh, best it's thing. That style, pretty much. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a Grand Theft Auto clone. Gotcha. Okay, so it's that style. That should be interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Not sure what to expect here. We'll see. All right. No problem. We're moving on to game five. I believe also. I think we're off of the PS2 now. Oh no, we're not. Okay. Big, big legendary oh, huge. game. Huge. Burnout three takedown. Oh, it made it. And interesting. And honestly, uh, the only game I would say that me, you, and Michael can play competitively. Yeah. I mean, an owl. Yeah. I will. Uh, I will just let you know how the voting went for Burnout three. So it was second. Revolt got more votes, had a better score. But so two first places for Burnout three, which was me and Chicken. I'm sure a fourth. And again, somebody voted at ninth. Um, mm. Michael, was that you? I could see that, that being me. I feel like yeah. I put it down on purpose because I knew how much you and yeah, we could play uh, Chicken had played it. So what's interesting um, about this... Not that well, I'm not good at it, but just know that you have more recent experience with it. Let me, that could be a hindrance for me. Let me go through uh, our little spiel here. So arcade racing, two-player yeah. split-screen, genre, we've already gone over that, and uh, my keys to victory, limiting mistakes and aggression. Obviously, this game is all about takedowns. But what I wanted to add real quick is... This is, as you saw when you voted, this is the PlayStation 2 version, um, not the Xbox version. And I think that will make somewhat of a difference. Uh, hmm. eh, I don't know. Uh, are you saying controller familiarity? Is that what you're oh, talking well, about? Well, I mean, I think a big deal for me playing these games is uh, throttle and brake pressure because you have triggers on oh. the Xbox. Uh-huh. And so you lose some of that feel. So I don't think, I don't think I'll be at my highest level here okay yeah i think i think that makes sense um we will play the regular race mode and not the crash mode i think that's more of a mini game than anything else in my opinion yeah i'd say yeah. crash mode is is a good uh it's a good game to play for fun competitively but as a as a tournament based game it's kind of uh unpredictable think, yeah a lot of frustration exactly yeah. a lot of frustration mm-hmm. So, and so then my, that wouldn't really be a racing sim anymore. So it'd be a, it'd be like a whatever. True. Uh, 
Michael, how do you feel? I mean, this is a game of your childhood, not my childhood. Oh yeah, I played. And I picked it up I later. I played a so ton of this game feel? on PlayStation Two. Mm. I mean, I feel like I I can hold my own in this one, um, especially that it's on PlayStation. I just like I said, I worry a little bit since I know you guys have the recent experience with it. Yeah. But well, this is I think, and this I was one... not as. Uh, yeah. When we recently picked it back up and you guys were playing, I uh, I remember getting into it and not being as amazing at it right away as I thought I would be. Yeah, I think given how much I played it as a kid, but now it's been now, a while. Yeah, now fortunately it's been a while since we did that because at that point you had picked it up and I That's was like true. fifteen hours in to playing through this game. Yeah, and Chicken was helping. That's true. I think uh, mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. this is definitely a rare game where three people have experience and three people can think. They can win, and somebody's finishing third. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Yep. And somebody's going home. Someone's going to be tough. Also, with the way this bracket will work out, somebody has a, basically a first round bye to just kind of play around. No <laughs> offense to any other competitor, right. but somebody I don't he doesn't have a chance. Oh yeah, so. of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm surprised by how much of a lead I have over you in the arcade racing uh, genre. Um, I'm surprised by this as, as well. And I have to, I got to look, I'm, this has got to be a computing error because it doesn't. I don't know. I, I did win quite a bit though. No, I you think did, there you were a did, lot of upsets. You did win, but there feels like there's not enough points for everybody here. Yeah. Um, I got to look at it. I actually, you know what? I know what it is. Most likely those are some team game wins where there's like six point mm. swings there or something. I don't know. But either way. It's hard for me to keep all these stats over seven years, so uh, there might be some might be some issues. But we are rolling mm-hmm. into game six. Yeah. And this is another one that I didn't think would... I mean, I can't believe this made it. Uh, IndyCar Series 2005. Uh, this is <laughs> sim racing. More Simcade. Um, let me look at the... Really? I can't believe it. Yeah, so let me look at this. This was first place... This beat out ATV, okay? Mm. It beat out the ATV game, and earlier today, uh, Chicken screwed over Jimmy White's cue ball. I thought that was going to make it a cool <laughs> game. First place uh, vote. I didn't make it. Damn. This got a first place po- vote, a third place vote, and then two fifths, which carried it mm. into the video game Olympics. Mm. Uh, it has been here before in 2018, 2019. Uh, Pigeon won this game. Wow. Owl was second. Third was chicken. I was interesting. Fourth. So I remember this. I got black flagged because I hit the wall too many times. That's why I finished mm-hmm. fourth. I was leading and I kept, we all kept hitting the wall, but I must have done it more than everybody else. And I got black flagged and thrown out of the race. We've talked about the genre. <laughs> uh, keys to victory here are very simple. You got to keep this bitch on the track. And we don't know what track we're racing. So it could <laughs> yep. be indie. It could be like something really tight, like the Milwaukee Mile. Uh, we raced at uh, a track called Pikes Peak in Colorado, which was a short track, very small. Uh, this game is hard. There is a lot of uh, setup things you could do with your car that we will have no idea how to take advantage of. And it's a very mm-hmm. difficult game. I'd expect Rex and also possibly nobody to ever cross the finish line and the winner being whoever got the farthest. Um, so look mm-hmm. out for that. Yep, I can see that. And we will randomly select a track. Michael, any thoughts? You finished second, or Owl, I'm sorry. You finished second in this game. Do you even remember it? I remember this one being all about that control, finding the line and sticking to the line, you know? Yeah. Um, that's what I try to do with all racing games, and it just uh, it doesn't always <laughs> doesn't always work right. And you can see uh, the well, notice, 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 the, yeah. notice the sim racing versus the, uh, or sim, sim racing versus arcade racing. I feel like there's a big difference between those two. I mean, yeah, the results massive. aren't that different, but yeah, um, huge differences there. Um, well, I, this, uh... in the voting, I feel like I tried to do the get the arcade voting or the arcade racing going because I felt like I would have a better chance. But apparently, uh, I did okay in the sim racing, so I'll take it. Well, you, there are two separate categories in the voting, Michael. So you or Al, so you can't. Uh... Uh, racing is split into two different categories. Mm. Oh, yeah, but yeah. overall, I tried to I lower one and increase I, one. 
But yeah, well, and we could see we got a little uh, little footage here in GIF form. There, uh, you could uh, <laughs> see the fast mm -hmm. action of IndyCar 2005. So I had uh, made, uh, to be honest, I made a playthrough attempt at this game, and uh, in the season mode, it makes you take the the opening pace lap, and I have spun the car out uh, on the opening pace lap because I get on the the throttle too much. Basically, every race I do it uh, right before going wow. to green. This game is mm. not easy. Uh, we won't have that problem in the multiplayer because it starts the races differently, but uh, it's not easy. Mm. Oval racing only, if you know anything about IndyCar in the mid two thousands, and it'll be uh, it'll be one hell of a game. Mm. And another four yeah, players I, split screen. Yeah, which... four players on the Xbox. Oh, you know, oh on God. the limit. Um, I will give everybody time to try to work a setup into their car. Uh, because it's a big part of this game, but it, it's it's going to be tough. Uh, I mean, you can I don't adjust, know about that. You can adjust springs, wing, like every everything in your car can be adjusted. I'll say That's that if you right there, any game, any game, you see the stat being uh, chicken and goose in third and fourth in a racing game. Uh, that's a tr that's a troubling game. It's a yeah, hard you, game. You, you've got to ask. You, you know something really weird happened, <laughs> or some sort of like yeah. cheating. Yeah, I mean, I I remember it well because I was leading, and I just couldn't keep it out of the wall. <laughs> and ovals are deceptive because you got to break on something. Yes, and if we're at Indy, mm -hmm. Indy is even harder. I mean, it's it's wider, but it's even harder to race on. So, but a very interesting game. Can't believe it's back. I did not vote it super high, and it it made it. So, on to mm -hmm. game seven. Tetris Worlds. Uh, oh, so, oh, fuck. Oh. So, <laughs> I, uh, so uh. I mentioned earlier today that Choo Choo Rocket, or sorry, I didn't mention it earlier, but there was a tie between games. It was between this and Choo Choo Rocket on the Dreamcast, and this game had a uh, won the tiebreaker based off of me throwing out the highest and lowest scores and taking the average of the two middle scores. So this game, right, this game got the, got the, got the nod. Genre puzzle, uh, as uh, as everybody knows, it's fucking Tetris. Uh, Olympic format is four player <laughs> split screen. So this is a unique Tetris. I don't know how wow. many Tetris games have four player split screen. We have not played mm. Tetris in the Olympics period uh, in the recorded area era. Maybe we did in twelve or thirteen, but I don't know that. Um, history and genre. Chicken is up there, eighteen with the puzzles. Uh, I'm right, or sorry, oh. uh, owl. 14, you've been a strong puzzler. I'm right there with 13 points. Pigeon, not that far behind either. I think we've all kind of had it, uh, had our time. Keys to victory, handling the pace of play. It's Tetris. You know, things speed up. And not feeling pressure. I mean, this is four-player Tetris, so you kind of know if you're fucked up really bad. You see each other. Um, I wonder if this is one of the ones where you can screw the other players, too. You know those ones? Yeah, so this came after... This is on the GameCube, by the way. This came after... Mm. Uh, there was a Dreamcast one that came out that like the screen could get all messed up. Very possible that this also has that 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 feature. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, adds to the pressure right there. Any thoughts on Tetris from either of you? Garbage. It's gonna be miserable. People I've always been a fan of Tetris, actually. Interesting. Yeah. So it'll be it'll be stressful, but this is a rare game where I would say if I won this. I would rank it up as one of my better wins ever. I don't, I hate Tetris. Mm. I'm right there with Chicken. I can't stand Tetris. I don't know why I have 18. I don't know what else is in the puzzle category, but like, yeah, I'm not great at Tetris. Well, not you, a huge fan. You scored some heavy points playing Wetrix. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh. The one time. There when was Michael, that team game right, that I messed up. Twice, yeah. Uh. When Al so confidently chose it as, a, as the game and got destroyed. Yeah. I'd have to look back through the stats. Yeah, that was... Wetrix, I know, is a big factor here. That was painful. Yeah, and this uh, this was, like I said, tied with Choo Choo Rocket, but thanks to its third-place finish, uh, uh, Tetris World's got a first, a third, a fifth, and an eighth-place finish uh, in the standings. Mm. And uh, But thanks to that third, really carried it over the Choo Choo Rocket first, two fifths, and a sixth. Um, hmm. Choo Choo Rocket will be a potential team game that we'll talk about later. Of course, other than that, yeah, this is this is Tetris. 
I thought chicken might mm-hmm. be a little bit happier about that. So this makes me feel better that I. I think I rate. I think I ranked it low. I yeah. feel like I ranked it some sort of low. I ranked it kind of low too, but I didn't tank it, and that's why we're playing Tetris. <laughs> I will say this: Pigeon, I believe, has played some Tetris in his time. Uh, I think he may be a strong contender for a rare pigeon win. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Okay, moving on. Game eight. See it. Let me find it here. Game eight. Soul Caliber two. Oh, 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 oh. The Soul Miserable. Caliber <laughs> franchise. Uh, we have played three times. So we've played two once before, and we played the first Soul Caliber twice. Um, so 3D fighting, uh, as everybody knows, head to head. This will be a round robin. I think fits best for fighting games. Uh, double round robin. Past competitions, 2018, 2019. Uh, I got the victory there. Uh, mm-hmm. Owl was second. Pigeon was third. Chicken finishing a, a week fourth there. Uh, surprising yeah. there. As the player history in the genre. This is tight, though. This is a tight genre. Chicken with 30. Owl with 27. Me with 26. Pigeon back there with 15. I mean, this is a tough, hard-fought, pun intended, genre here. Um, and then keys to victory developing counter moves i mean if one of us could figure out how to counter the thing that the other person is spamming that's going to be huge i'm a I'm well surprised i'd say that i I'd have... say initially finding the spam move too yeah, yeah I you got to find I, the spam move yeah, first think, but yeah i think that's part of it but I, you know some characters don't have them if a if a player can figure out um if you're figuring out good counters you probably have figured out your spam too True. So, yeah. True. Uh, this was also first place in the arcade party category. Uh, just to just to throw that in. Um, but yeah, mm. if you could fit it, if basically what I'm trying to say with that is, if you can develop a couple different things that you do, and everybody else is just doing one thing, you got a good chance at winning these games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it will just come down to whoever spams hardest, and that means probably chicken is going to be angry. Yeah, I usually be pissed off at these. It, it's usually, you know, the spamming just makes it completely unplayable, and I'm yeah. probably going to lose. Even though I have 30 points, I don't know how that's a thing. Well, you probably but, just yeah. spam through a different game. Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing here, I, yeah. right, I agree, is that you, you just, if you're on the wrong end of the spam, it is the worst. It's helpless. You can't do shit. You know, you, you don't mm-hmm. know what to do. You're just getting hit, 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 hit. Um, you know, maybe you pull out a crotch punch like I did in Mortal Kombat somehow, you know, randomly. But if you could do that, you have a chance. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised that Michael or uh, uh, Al is only in second here. Uh, I thought I would. I thought he'd be top. Well, I think what uh, we've I think we've been surprised. We've talked about this before. He, yeah, let me find it here. Well, he's semi strong in the 2D fighters as well. I know we kind of feel like we link those together um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's true but yeah i mean it's it's there i don't know we we'll have to see what happens i think there's three strong contenders here actually even pigeon king pigeon's gotten wins in these types of games too so yeah okay mm. game nine this i enjoy the-, the genre specifically because it's kind of up in the air like that too yep. you know it's not like a clear yeah it's not a clear, clear who thing. has the advantage and I, with the double round robin, you, you're going to have some chances to learn because you play everybody twice. Right. So that helps. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. So we'll move to game nine. Uh, we are moving into uh, some older games here, starting with Scoon. Oh. <laughs> so the second place <laughs> game of the shooter genre. I know a lot of people expected this might be. Uh, game, Michael, do you have a game that you thought might be the shooter? I was not sure. No. Oh, so you didn't think Nightfire would pop up because it didn't. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. I voted that yeah, low. I think I, I voted it low. Really? Uh, yes, Night, I hate, Nightfire I hate may have Fire. gotten two first place votes and two tenth place votes because I voted it tenth as well. <laughs> That's the wow. game I was talking about earlier, Chicken. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, I know Chicken's going to huh. vote it tenth, and I just yeah. strategically did it because why would I give uh, Goose? Or not Goose, Owl and uh, Pigeon. I can't remember anybody's names. Why would I give Owl and Pigeon uh-huh. 
games that they can win at. Might as well just yeah. have a dice. Uh, so Schoon. That was obviously one of the other ones. Yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah uh, that was. And Pigeon mm. voted it first as well. So Schoon is mm. a, a shoot 'em up game on the Nintendo Entertainment System, first discovered at Rogers Flea Market by this group. Um, and we played it in a going down video, so you can watch that on our channel. Oh, mm. it's that one. Yeah, Olympic mm. uh, format. This is also a Japanese game. How we're playing. This is straight from Japan. Uh, mm. That's the cartridge. So Olympic format, high score, shoot 'em up, pass competitions, obviously none. Player history and genre. Owl is the schmump uh, king right now with nine points. This could change. Chicken with eight. I have struggled in this category as well. Pigeon has as well. Uh, he sucked it up as he does in every category you're going to see tonight. Uh, keys to victory. Quick re <laughs> uh, <laughs> keys to victory. Quick reactions and then learning from the practice. So you'll have a practice round. You'll have two scored runs. Whoever can learn the patterns in there is really going to is gonna take Schoon. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody has any thoughts about Schoon. Probably. I, I might win. I, I, that's it. I it, I would vote you favorite. Uh, Michael, yeah, uh, okay. Al, whatever your name is. <laughs> I, I think I have a chance here. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like okay. these, especially these older games, I feel like I usually have a chance in them. Yeah, They're I more mean, uh, it's time-based, you know, more like feeling-based. And I don't know. I feel like I do decent at these. I I would agree. I think Owl has a good chance. I mean, it's a, it's a complete unknown. Uh, I will mention two second-place votes, a fourth and a fifth here to knock out Nightfire. Um, wow. And we'll talk about Nightfire mm. in a couple minutes as well. Um, this is very yeah. This game, I I've we've played it very briefly. Um, it's very colorful. It's very it's a weird game. You're in a submarine and you're shooting stuff up, but yeah, I I I don't know what to expect out of this. I'll even give Pigeon a chance. I mean, somebody somebody will just find yeah. them. But the last time yeah. we played the Olympics, uh, Chicken went hard. In bubble bobble, and I didn't see that coming. So oh, I, I remember. Could, yep, I, I remember see that you one. Doing a similar type of run here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're uh, moving on to the last game, the last non-team game. Uh, so we're about to wrap this broadcast up, and this game definitely got voted in uh, because of its name, and it is Gopher on the Coleco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually I looked it up. Yeah, so Gopher, I'll explain what Gopher is, because it's really, uh, it is in the primitive genre, because that's, I don't know how to describe games like this. Uh, it will be a high score format. We have never played Gopher before. Uh, player history in this genre, Goose has been strong. Uh, that's me. I keep forgetting that's me. Uh, 46 points for me. <laughs> Al coming in 37. This is a genre that we know you're pretty good at. Chicken, 36. Uh, pigeon, mm -hmm. once again, Pigeon. Uh, Keys to Victory, this is a pattern-based <laughs> game. So I'm going to explain what this game is for Chicken. Um, uh, pretty self-explanatory. So you're a farmer. Uh, there's a gopher okay. at the bottom. He's trying to steal your carrots. Um, you can do some things to keep him from stealing your carrots. There's some sort of downward motion you do on the stick. Um, once you run out of carrots, you run out of time. But you do get a score. A score. Um, if he gets a carrot... Seeds fall from the sky, and you can plant again in the middle of the game as well. Oh, wow. So it's kind of so complex. That's pretty... Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Uh, Interesting. Al, you looked it up. What did you think of the gameplay you saw? I couldn't find gameplay. I just saw a lot of screenshots. Um, okay. And I think I saw, I think I found the, the back of the original game box. I was talking a little bit about it too. Um, Seemed like seemed like it was decent. Honestly, I think. Well, this is the tenth one, so we can talk about it now. I uh, I voted all the primitives pretty high because, yep. like we mm -hmm. talked about already, I feel like that's a strong point for me. I was kind of hoping to see more of the primitives in here. Um, Gopher was not my top primitive that I was looking for. Okay. Um, so I'm disappointed to see. Yeah, disappointed. Some of the <laughs> some of the other primitives not make it, but. Yeah, you didn't get crackpots. You didn't nope. get berserk. Yes, that one. Look both of those up. They both looked uh, look pretty good. Look pretty yeah, great. No, um, I think I was looking I would, forward to playing those. But I mean, fucking Gopher got two firsts, 
a fifth, and an eighth. <laughs> Who voted wow. eighth? Really? I I guess uh, Al, did you vote an eighth? No. If not, then it was pitch. I don't know. No, it Might definitely wasn't me. me. Yeah, yeah you, Michael you, saw. I mean, yeah. yeah, Al saw this and he said, "Oh, it's pixelated. I could play that game." Yeah, this is. <laughs> I this is a wild card. I yeah. you know like these games typically are. I mean, there is complexity here. Somebody's gonna find a strategy to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is another one where somebody goes on one of those runs, like when we played barnstorming. Like somebody will just find a run in Gopher. Yeah. Did you vote this first, Chicken? Yeah. Oh no, no. no. I don't think so. Uh, well, some, I mean, Michael. Then I think I you voted. I think I did. First. Yeah, must have because I, I did. really. I got two first place votes here. A fifth and an eighth. Uh, there's a good chance I voted it fifth because I thought it sounded cool, but then saw it was primitive and didn't yeah. want it. I definitely didn't vote it first. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah, I thought this definitely no. won because it was named. Maybe I did. Gopher. Maybe it did one. for sure. Yeah, yeah Gopher. It's Gopher. <laughs> Okay, so this was the tenth game. Uh, well, I'm going to go through the team games that are eligible. So I'll just talk about what the team format is right now. Third and fourth place at the end of the day, day or the end of the two days. We'll split it into. We'll split it in midday. Um, mm -hmm. So there could be two different people picking team games. Those third and fourth place players will pick from this list of ten games you're about to see. These 10 games finished third and fourth in the voting for their categories. Um, this is different than what we've done before because we keep trying to mess with team game formats. I'm sure we'll change it again at another point, but uh, that's what we're going with for this round. I don't know if there's any thoughts on that particular format. I think it could be good because it having the infinite... Not the infinite, but the large number of games to pick from was always very difficult. Um, speaking from or as somebody who had to play the team game a lot, um, it was just very difficult trying to think of something. And this way, at least it's limited. It's easier to choose from, you know. And I think it helps because it's going to mm -hmm. be games that we haven't seen before. So if you're trying to beat me and Chicken, True. you know, you're picking the game you think you're going to be the best at. You're choosing the play format of the game so you can try to get an advantage there and it's not something we've played before because otherwise typically yeah what we have done is a game we've all seen so i'm gonna go to these mm -hmm. team games there's nothing fancy here here's a list of what the team games are so i'm i'm shocked by a couple things i'd just like to make a couple comments here uh one so because i tanked nightfire it finished fifth uh so it's not even a potential team game <laughs> wow <laughs> So that strategy oh, wow. worked out beautifully because if it was a team game <laughs> and it's me and Chicken, we're going to lose. Um, so there's that. The other thing that I'm surprised by, we've had many, many great games of Bomberman and neither Bomberman game that you could have selected made it up here. I, I, I thought that was shocking. Yeah, I'm surprised for that. I, I assumed I one of those, those was going to make fairly... it. I voted those sort of high, I think, or at well, least mid tier. Yeah, I mean, Saturn Bomberman had two fourth place, two fourth places. Uh, Bomberman mm -hmm. Hardball had two fifths, and then a sixth, a seventh. Uh, yeah, sixth and seventh, and then uh, Saturn Bomberman mm -hmm. had a sixth, and somebody voted it ninth, mm -hmm. which might be <laughs> pigeon. Um, it wasn't me. Yeah, so somebody voted Saturday Bottom Man ninth, which really killed it. Um, with the ten person selection, that uh, that hurts. Uh, anything that stands out here? Uh, um, a lot of Dreamcast. Interested to see a lot that. of Dreamcast. Yeah, a lot yeah. of Dreamcast. No, <laughs> so I, I I'll just mention quickly before, and I should throw it over to Michael. Uh, I thought Crazy Taxi 2 would be a primary game here, so I was pretty surprised that it's made it down mm -hmm. to the game category. I also, uh, I'll say, I voted Sonic Spinball pretty low, hoping we wouldn't play that. Not a big fan. Interesting. Um, Al, yeah. what do you think? What are you looking at here? Like, if you had to pick a team game, what would you go with? I'm. When I looked up Crackpots, I was very intrigued by that. 
not only is it a uh, I could see that coming. Is it a uh, primitive, but it's got the the premise seemed decent. Um, cue ball. I was very intrigued by that as well. Mm-hmm. Some of the you know those those pool type games can sometimes be good. I don't know this one in particular, but it's uh, um, I feel like those. It's very interesting. I hope we play. I really, yeah, I could I see really, that being good. I really hope we play it. It's freaking weird. It's a. Uh, I'll just say it's a. European, and then Crazy Taxi too. Yeah. I'll say Jimmy White's. Obviously, Brawl Crazy Taxi too. Oh. Is a Europe. Who only. is Jimmy White? Uh, he was a famous snooker player uh, from England. Uh, this is a Europe-only release. Mm. It has like a full game room, though, so you can play darts and shit. It's a strange ass oh. game. Uh, very, very mm. interesting. But it does have eight ball pool. It is not maximum pool, like I'm sure Pigeon thought it was. Okay, so, yeah, uh, now we kind of have a good idea of what uh, Al was thinking. Uh, Chicken, any thoughts on what you would pick here? I know it depends somewhat on your teammate, but... Uh, I mean... It's... Man, it's a tough It's a tough choice. I mean, I would probably put my money on Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, too, because I've played mm-hmm. it the most. Yeah, that's... Um, every... Everything else is kind of a toss-up. Crazy Taxi 2 could be a win, but I uh, also kind of dangerous. Someone could have a run on that, and you wouldn't mm-hmm. expect it. Um, yeah, and, and I mean, I just hope we avoid Sonic Spinball, and yeah. uh, probably, probably, uh, uh, yeah, Crackpots is probably terrible. Pigeon will definitely want Sonic Spinball. He likes those pinball games. I could see that <laughs> being a factor. Huh. Um Michael, did you have something to say there? Do you have stats for Crazy Taxi 2 handy? I'm curious. For uh, Crazy Taxi in general? Let me... Uh, no, it's uh, fine. It's. Uh, I'm just curious. Just, just keep talking. I can find them in like two seconds. Because I what feel like those Crazy about, Taxis, I feel like those were very... Uh, I feel like those were very even. Like they were kind of toss-ups. Mm. Weren't they? Uh, like I remember... I feel I, like I did decent in one of the so. Crazy Taxis. I believe so. Just give me a couple more seconds here. Like I know, it's kind of a, minutes. it's kind of sort of a racing, but um, so well, typically you, my favorite I'd, YouTube, but I'd say that uh, I don't know, yeah, it's a pretty big toss up depending on how you get uh, you know, if you get fucked over, what what happened to you, and if you could pick up the right that's people. That's true. Um, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Also, the second one added the the hydraulic yeah. stuff, so I mean, I guess that is a pretty wild card. So mm. they played. So in 2018-19, we played... This is the only time we played it in the uh, era where I kept track of this. Uh, the crazy mm-hmm. We played Crazy Taxi 2. I finished first with uh, 2 million... Or not 2 million. Uh, 2,124. Uh, uh, Pigeon finished second with uh, $1,900. Chicken mm-hmm. was third with 1,800. And uh, Al was fourth with 1,700. Um Oh, well, never mind. So that mind. was actually, okay. you were, well, but you were close to third, uh, second place. But what I'll mention about that, yeah. I do remember that, that particular competition. So that, we do the snake, right? So there it goes down, two runs. And on Al's second run, because he's at the bottom of the snake, he took the lead. And I think we passed, each subsequent person passed him on their second run. Oh... Uh... So you were leading, and I. There is video of this. I think there's video of Pigeon like going crazy because you were doing well. Yeah, <laughs> I do vaguely remember that. Just I'll, I'll, That's what that's what sticks out in my head. Okay. I'll, I'll add a couple of notes to some of these other games. Uh, Captain Tomo Day is like you play. It's a shoot 'em up, but you play as a tomato. Uh, mm. I just I just <laughs> like the thought of that. Choo Choo like Rocket. That. Uh, Choo Choo Rocket is like the most insane puzzle game you could play. Like if you just wanted to throw a toss up into the mix, this game is the toss up mm. of toss ups. It's fucking insane. Um, mm. If I were to if I were to pick one, uh, Test Drive Le Mans is a sim racing game that I'm pretty sure I could just choke everybody else out in and get a first place every mm. time we run it. Uh, it's four player mm-hmm. split screen, so there's a possibility that my teammate could finish fourth, but I'm pretty sure I could race that game and finished first every time until my teammate got a third place to put us over the top. So that's what I got. August 21st. I mean, 
Mm-hmm. We got Mortal Kombat up there too. Which is that always is the, uh, uh, that is known as one of the worst Mortal Kombat games of all time. Oh, Perfect. is it really? I, oh, okay. Yeah. It's nice. Horrible. It's like a remake of Mortal Kombat Four, but very poor. And depending on what edition you got on the Dreamcast, very buggy. Oh, this is exactly what I'm I'd expect a... from for the Olympics. This that's exactly what I want to see. Yeah, bad, true. bad gameplay. Yeah, it's uh, it like those be, button mashes, though. It, it would be terrible. Mm-hmm. This could be a factor. So, any final thoughts? Uh, it's. I mean, it's. Uh, yeah, it's the Olympics. It's gonna either be I'm ready fine for the trophy or miserable. I'm ready for the gold. Oh yeah, I'm what's the trophy the gonna be? Somebody's gonna make that. Uh, that's probably gonna have to be me. I'm guessing. You seem. I'll like make it better artist. than the battery trophy. I'll I'll do better than the battery trophy. Uh, a few years back. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. The battery okay. candle. Well, thanks for anybody who's watching this. I don't think anybody is, but uh, maybe nope. somebody no. see, maybe <laughs> somebody will see it on YouTube. Uh, yeah. So August twenty first uh, at uh, around one p.m. in the calendar. Tune into the Twitch channel, and uh, thank you. Uh, mm-hmm. Thanks for watching.